Okay, on this mower, the uh, keel cable, it does not work. It doesn't even move down here at the bottom. The cable is stuck. In this particular mower, uh, the numbers don't even show up in the book anymore. So uh, we're having trouble finding the right part number for the cable, which happens all the time. So I want to show you how I take a cable that's a little bit different and, and make it work. Uh, I mean, the right cable would be better, but if you can't find the right cable, I'm going to show you an alternative to get you going. So I'll just hang on and we'll get taken care of. Well, the first thing we're going to do is take this old cable off. Uh, we got to remove this old cable and get it off the mower. Okay, we've got our old cable off the mower. Uh, this end up here just pries off. Uh, this end down here has got two little ears that you can squeeze in with a pair of needle nose pliers and it'll just pop right out of there. I found my new cable. Uh, this new cable uh, has the same kind of end that fits at the engine down there. But the piece that fits up on the handle has a hole in it, it's going to allow me to put a self-tapping screw in it and put it wherever I want to put it on the handle. Uh, this cable is a Husqvarna part number 532-130-861. Okay, we've got our new cable hooked up at the bottom. We've got it hooked up at the handle up here at the top. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is to screw this down to screw this clamp down to the handle. We're gonna fasten this down with this self-tapping screw. Do not pull all the slack out of it. It'll be too tight. Come back about 3 eighths of an inch. So that way the cable will have room to work when you put the handle down. Okay, we've got our cable screwed down here uh, with a self-tapping screw. Uh, you can see I got a little slack here. You need slack so your cable has room when you have the handle down, you don't want to bottom the cable out. It'll break the cable. You can see down here at the bottom that it's working good. So we had trouble finding the, the right cable for this mower. So we just used this other cable. Uh, it's not, so it's, it's a little bit long, which is okay. We can zip tie that extra up, but at least we got the, the mower working. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it saves you some money. Stay tuned at Glenn's Small Engine in Greenville, Texas.